What's going on everyone? It's me, yeah boy, Alex the Rambler, and today we're going to be playing something a little different. I don't know where Jeeves is, so unfortunately he won't be making an appearance today. Uh, help. But I was browsing through the grand strategy genre on, on Steam recently and I came across Super Power 2. And that seems like a map game that I should try, which I've never tried, uh, and it's a little bit before my time. It apparently came out in the same year as as Rome Total War, so that, that kind of took up all my time rather than grand strategy back then. But that was 15 years ago. Oh my god, I'm getting so old. But something that's confusing me is that it's a game by THQ Nordic, which is a very recent publisher, and it was also a, a Steam Green-like game. And it... Uh, uh, I'm confused, because... Like, that, this is, 2004 is way before this publisher existed, unless they probably just bought the license, or maybe it was published by THQ, or, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, that's probably it, that's probably it, I, I'm, I'm letting my, my befuddled jet lag brain get the better of me here, I'm, I'm smart. And, and one thing that really sold it for me was that you can nuke the bleep out of any country you like, so of course, leave a like for more nukes, um, I probably shouldn't actually say that, should I? But yes, comment, like, subscribe, and all that jazz. Have you played this? Let me know what you think, because I'm going to be playing it for the first time in this video. Oh! And we've also got one with over 1,300 hours, but I think that it might be someone who who's from the um, who's from China, based on what they said about Taiwan. I'm not getting involved in politics. This is just what the review says. So I'm guessing they might be from that area. Also, apparently you can actually do naval invasions, but <laughs> you have to be within 750 kilometers of the region you're trying to invade. That's still a lot. That is a heck of a lot of range. But anyway, let's let's jump in to, to what is known as Superpower 2. Oh, we've got that music. If you're wondering why it isn't full screen, you actually can't change the resolution. So I guess where this is Steam greenlit and still in early access, they, they might be changing revolution, re re the resolution, like, you know, 15 years into the game. Okay, well, let's just do the first tutorial and see where that gets us. I'm, I'm excited to be playing a map game I've never played before. And it's actually, oh, look, it's the world. Superpower 2 is a game of geopolitical strategy. This means it's played on the representation of our planet and through various windows giving you the information and choices of actions you play as the government of any real country in the world. Heck yes. Wow, okay, well this is an interesting map game because it's not actually um, flat. This one is representing the world as if it's round. What the heck's that about? Oh, for pity's sake, they've locked the views, pretend- Oh, 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 I can zoom as well. <gasps> oh my god. Oh no. They've put slough in the game. Oh. oh my gosh. Look, look at all of these. This this is actually a lot more impressive than I thought it was going to be. Superpower 2, ahead of its time in 2004, still going strong in 2019. Holy heck. Eh? Okay, okay, okay. All the economies that are in red are doing pretty well, except... And the ones in blue, oh, that's pretty much most of Africa. And, oh, and Mongolia have a terrible economy. Come on, Mongolia. <laughs> Canada's human development level is far higher than the world average. Huh. But there's 89% unusable land. It, Jesus Louise. Ah, it wants me to move my army to Mexico. Um. That ex oh. I'm going to, okay, the tutorial actually <laughs> lets you declare war on Mexico. Sure, let's go. Wow, there's actually a battle map in the game too. Huh, this game was definitely worth two pounds. I think that's all I spent on it, just like two pounds. A bargain. And look, we're destroying the Mexican army. The Battle of Chihuahua. Holy moly, they lost 66,000 infantry. Ouch. Ah, now we're getting to it. This, this section displays the status of your nuclear program. Oh yes, baby. Oh, okay, it just wants me to nuke China straight away in the tutorial. Now, that wets my whistle. Oh, oh, 
and you can actually nuke civilians. This game, oh my gosh. I, 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 select which missiles to use. Um, ICBMs, I guess. Oh my god. You can click the button. Bam. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to nuke everyone. I probably shouldn't have been given this game. Oh, beginner is to evade Iraq. Okay, well, um, that, that's all we have to do. It's the, it's the first I Iraq war, I guess. Okay, I think we can do that. That should be fine. I will request war. Boom. The treaty has been accepted. They, 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 they accepted that I declared war on them, uh, and that was very nice of them. Um, now, I guess I could actually invade Iraq, or or I just do um, this. Country ride, military, uh, I'll use both, and I'll use, uh, I'll use, I'll use 50% of my stockpile. They only suggest 4%, but you know, I want to be sure. Uh, prepare for launch, and boom. So, uh, Iraq, what are you going to do about that? The tutorial didn't actually tell me how to naval invade, uh, so I figured this was probably a better solution, uh, just to wipe them out militarily. Holy. Um, what have I... <laughs> oh. Okay, decided I'd uh, actually go as, as the UK this time, uh, and, and just see what I can do, maybe against Ireland. No one would mind if I invaded Ireland, would they? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just move them over there. I'm also going to cancel freedom of speech and uh, freedom of demonstration. Women's suffrage also isn't allowed. Uh, number of children is limited. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Population control, okay? God, I could ban contraception and... <gasps> Same-sex marriage. I'm permitting that. Uh, polygamy. Yes, get that in. This is all fine. This is all fine. Um, I'm going to have the concern... Uh, oh, actually, yeah, all of the other parties are going to be illegal now. Um, Party of Wales, Scottish National Party, all of these we don't need anymore. Uh, emigration, um, you can't leave the country, so borders are closed now. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I don't know if anyone will mind uh, if I invade. Yeah, yeah, we'll attack, we'll attack Ireland. Um, I don't think they can do much against me, you see. Yeah, but this might be running my, my economy into the ground, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm just going to take a slurp of my coffee. Well, hey, in we go to Ireland. I don't think anyone has declared war on me from doing that. I'm probably just going to go on a full assault, full attack. And try and win the Battle of Leinster. <sighs> I think... Oh, it's just the infantry left now. And then we will have conquered the Irish. That's it. Get them. Get them. Get them. <laughs> what, what are the infantry going to do against fighter aircraft? I had... I didn't take a single loss <laughs> against Ireland. So I order my troops around. I wonder, just why did the British people allow me to do this? Oh, right. That's because I literally outlawed every other political party. And my corruption is only 12%. Oh. Ah, we're a single party democracy. Love it. Yeah, Ireland is now occupied. I'm tempted to nuke France just for the sake of doing it. Oh my god, why is that army... How the heck does the Netherlands have a such a large force there? That's not fun. Let's just change that to 90% uh, personal income tax. Pretty sure people won't mind that. At least I hope that will fix my... Making such a drastic change on the tax level will have important negative effects on your approval rating. Pfft, like I care. There we go. I'm making money now. Yep. Yep, that's done something to my approval. 3%. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Ooh. What if I nuked someone? Would the people like that? I think they'd probably like that. They'd probably like it if I nuked Paris, wouldn't they? I think they would. Yeah, I'll 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 I'll, I'll use a hundred percent. Yeah, prepare for launch. 
Okay, France. This is what you get for taking Normandy centuries ago. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm going to try and take out the Ukrainian military. Uh, they don't have nukes. Um, so this should be a pretty easy... Oh, I'm Russia now, by the way, just, just in case you weren't aware. Uh, oh my god, the bombing's still going on. Chernobyl was nothing compared to the destruction that I've just wrought. Um, okay. I guess I'll activate my military and move in. I'll take the Crimea too, thank you. Oh, no one liked my nuking. That's rude, isn't it? Just going to take back what we originally controlled, okay? Which was technically the Ukraine and, and, and Belarus too. Oh my god, yeah. I, I, I shouldn't be allowed to do this, really. This does... <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh, who else can I nuke? Actually, what would happen if I tried to nuke America? Countrywide. Use both. 100%. Oh, let's go! I imagine this would be the end of the world, right? Oh my god. Oh. oh my god, okay, it appears I've taken the worst of that hit. That's that's horrible. Um, okay, well, I guess that's what would happen. Nuclear annihilation, and now I'm at war with the entire world. <laughs> oh, oh my god. So I think it would be, this This game would be a lot more fun, probably in multiplayer, than, than just than just by myself, but for, for £2, this is actually well worth the price, I think. Um, got to conquer Ireland as, as the UK, uh, got to destroy the world as Russia. Oh, I still, uh, I still have some men left. They're sleeping. They're sleeping on the job, brilliant. Um, but if you potentially want to see more Superpower 2, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm getting occupied now. Um, but at least we took out the American military. <laughs> ah. But it's goodbye from me for now. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Wyatt Green, Greencoat Gaming, Name Name, Aiden, Andrew, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Martin Shaw, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous round of supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. 